welcome to the second series of Grounded in Grammar. I'm Ida, and you and I are going to spend the next few minutes learning about the English language grammar. If you remember, in the first series, you have looked at the indefinite article a and an, and today we are going to learn about the definite article the. The definite article is also a very common yet important word in the English language. Unlike the indefinite article a uh, and an, the definite article the points to a particular people or things. There's a lot more that you have to know about the use of the word the. So now, I'm going to take a back seat and let our grammar teacher to tell you all about it. Hi Ida, it's great to be here. Okay, grammar teacher, the show is all yours. Thank you, Ida. Hi, I'm Azreed, your grammar teacher for today. We're going to learn about the definite article the and how it is used in the English language. I hope you're all ready to start learning. We use the when we know exactly which person or thing we're talking about. For example, let's say you see a monkey on a tree. You call out to a friend standing nearby who also looks up and sees the monkey. You say, look, the monkey is carrying its baby. So, in this situation, although the word monkey is mentioned for the first time, we do not use the article a. Uh. We use the instead. Why? Because the listener knows exactly which monkey the speaker is talking about. I hope you still remember what the grammar teacher told you about a uh and an in the first series. Let me refresh your memory. She said a uh and an is used when we mention something for the very first time. Remember that rule? Well, where the is concerned, we use it when we mention something for the second time. Take a look at this sketch and see how our friends Rina and Muna use the. Is that your brother? No, that's not my brother. Hi Muna. Hi Fiona. Hi, Hi Rina. Muna, did you lose a watch this morning? Yes, I did. It has a square face and a white leather strap. Why did you lose a watch? I don't know. I didn't realize it. Well, I've got great news for you, Muna. I found a white leather strap. Here you are. That's it? Just a strap? Nah, actually I found the whole thing. It broke? Oh my gosh! Thank you, Rina. Oh well, I gotta go. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs> that was funny! Anyway, Rina started off by asking Muna this question. Did you lose a watch this morning? Now that was the first time the word watch was being mentioned and she was absolutely correct in using the article a. Uh. Then, she referred to the watch again and asked Muna this question. Where did you lose the watch? Here, we see Rina using the article the and she's right. Why? Because it is the second time the watch is being mentioned. Now, the can also be used with singular and plural nouns. Remember what singular and plural nouns are? Well, a singular noun refers to a person or thing that is one in number. Whilst a plural noun refers to a person or thing that is two or more in number. Here's an example. The teacher is in the staff room. The teachers are in the staff room. Although the word teacher is a singular noun and teachers is a plural noun, we still use the article the with both of them. 
Let's take a look at another use of the article verb. We use it before the names of things that are special or unique because there's only one of its kind. That's why we say the Earth, the Universe, the Sun and the Equator because there are only one of these things in existence. Here are some examples. The Netherlands, the Philippines, the Thames, the Amazon, the Cayman Islands, the Solomon Islands, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic, the Kledang Range, the Himalayas, Just like er and an, the can also be used with adjectives. We put them before the adjective like this. The careless girl dropped all the apples. The adjective in that sentence is careless. Since we know exactly who this careless girl is because we saw her drop all her apples, we use the article the before the adjective careless. Here's another example. The red shirt that Alan got for his birthday has shrunk. The colour red is the adjective in the sentence. Since you and I know exactly which shirt it is, the red shirt that Alan got for his birthday and not any other shirt, we use the article the instead of er before the adjective red. Okay, there are a number of other uses of the definite article the, but I would like to do just one more with you. And that is, we can also use the before a superlative. Hmm, what's that big word superlative? Well, it's the name that we give to the highest degree of an adjective or an adverb. Here, take a look at these visuals. Ah, these are the students of Form to Chile. And this is Adip. He's tall, isn't he? Hmm, this is Chong Wei. He's taller than Ali, isn't he? But wait, this is Mona. And she is the tallest student in the class. Sorry, boys. Tall, taller and tallest. Do you know which one of these words is the superlative? That's right, tallest. So, we have to put the before it when we use it in a phrase or a sentence. Here are two more examples of the with superlatives. The rose is the most beautiful flower in the world. And my mother cooks the best chicken curry on earth. Okay, I'm done. I hope the lesson has been very helpful to you. Take good care of yourself and remember that grammar is very important as it will help you to write and speak correctly. Bye! Thank you, Azrin, for teaching us about the definite article the. You're welcome, Ida. And hello again, everybody. As usual, it's time for a little revision. Now, now, now. Trust me, revision is good for you. So, let's go over the definite article the. And to do that, I have invited two students to join us today. Hi Rina and Muna, and welcome to Grounded in Grammar. Hi Ida. Okay, I'm going to ask both of you some questions on what our grammar teacher has taught us on today's program. So, are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Rina, tell me, would you use a, an, or the for the names of people or things that is mentioned for the second time? I would use the article the. Yes, very good. And can you give me a sentence or two to explain this? Well, how about my brother has a bicycle. The bicycle is his birthday present. Wow, that's brilliant, Rina. My brother has a bicycle. The bicycle is his birthday present. Now, 
the is used in the final sentence because the word bicycle is mentioned for the second time. Great! Let's move on to Muna. Choose the correct option for the given sentence and then tell me why did you choose it? The ship sank in blank Pacific Ocean. The answer is C. The. The ship sank in the Pacific Ocean. The reason I choose it is that we use the for the names of the ocean. Correct! That's exactly what the grammar teacher taught us. To use the for the names of seas and oceans. Back to you, Rina. Tell me, what article would you use to complete this sentence on the screen? Betty is blank smartest girl in town. Mm, the Betty is the smartest girl in town. Good. And why would you use the and not a or an? It's because we use the definite article the with all superlatives. This is the last question and it's for you, Muna. Remember what the grammar teacher taught us about the unique things because there is only one of its kind in this world? Yeah. Okay, can you give us a few examples of the unique things with which we can only use the word the? Um, the earth, the sky, the North Pole, and the, the moon. Very good! Well, congratulations Rina and Muna, and thank you for being on the show! Well, we have come to the end of the second series of Grounded in Grammar. Don't forget to join us again in the next episode to learn more about the exciting English language in Grounded in Grammar. Till we meet again, goodbye!